Hello everyone. Welcome to Cornflower Crafts. My nickname is Corn. And today I'm joining in on an open collab, which is hashtag die cut with me Mondays. And the, our hostess is Pebbles and her channel name is Colitas Creations. And I will put that link in my description box below. And I don't have tons of die cuts to sh um, that I did today, but I did some. I'm still working on my garden journal. Uh, remember, it takes me a while. Um, not only working on the pages, I do the pages before I sew them in, decorate and everything. And also goodies to put in pockets and all this good stuff. So on this one, this is just a bag here. I did just a, I have a nesting die that I did the little oval with the birdie, the little robin in it, and then a little cardinal down here. This die cut is one of four that I got on Amazon like ugh, six years ago or something like that, long time ago. That's just to, to put in the journal. And then this is going to be one of the pockets I did. And instead of doing a little tab here, like a regular tab, um, I went ahead. This is one of those uh, junk mail envelopes. And I went ahead and die cut two of these butterflies. And the cardstock is really, really thick. So then, you know, two, one for front one for back and um i do have i do know what i used it's the momenta one that um i got at hobby lobby when it was on clearance so this is a few years back and um i did the butterfly in that one and well i'll just leave that like so and I'll put this one like here. And then this is like, you know, when you put things in a journal and you can just clip them so it can come in or out where the person who receives it, you know what I mean? It's not actually on the page. And this die cut here, hopefully, you, yeah, you can see that. That is a uh, Tim Holtz. Yeah, I think it's Tim Holtz. Yep, a Tim Holtz die. That one is this one. And when I do these, I like to, because they're so lacy, I like to cut them, you know. And uh, this one is number 664178, in case you're interested. And in case that interests you. Okay, skew number. And they do come out beautiful. I've also done, let me see, is that that one? This one, yeah. And I cut those as well because a lot of times I'm using them on small projects and I, they cut very well. You know, they present well, I guess, if you cut them. And then on the back of this one here, again, is another just very small oval and a nesting die. I don't remember where I got those years and years ago. And then these are... I got from Amazon about five months ago or so. And they, um, I guess if you were to look up wildflower, uh, wildflower die cuts or dies, I'm not die set. It's possible. I'm sorry that I don't have that info for you guys, but I'm happy how they came out. And then last but not least, same thing on Amazon. I got these little bunnies and um I did the tails they they just come you know like as in like a silhouette but I did the tails by um by just making little tiny uh what is it my crocodile the smallest you know setting for to make a hole in something and did it on the white cardstock and that's and I have them I don't know about you all but if you have a garden and um it's you know there's some gardens that are in pots and other gardens that are in the ground if they're in the ground a lot of times the bunnies like to come by and eat your plants before they have a chance to grow and this is the mom and the kids are all running towards the garden and she's saying no no babies no no we'll we'll go and get 
the food elsewhere. So that's my little story with that one. And um, that's what I have to share today. And I want to thank you all so much for joining me. And I hope you have a wonderful morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye-bye, everybody. Take good care.